All right, welcome everybody. My name is Jason Haddix and I am the field CISO here at Flare. Uh, and field CISO, you know, is a term that's a little bit loaded, but um, I have been an enterprise CISO at an organization that was 22,000 employees running uh, upwards of 60 products in the history of my career. And so I know the seat that you sit in and, um, and I know the seat is very, uh, it's very busy. A lot of people are trying to get you to buy a lot of products and you have a limited amount of budget to you know, figure out how to secure your organization. And so I wanted to come at you with kind of a real video um, of Flare and kind of what it does, what it does and stuff like that. And, and really, you know, kind of a no BS messaging, right? So, so what you have when you're an organization that, you know, kind of where you sit in that seat um, and, and I know how hard that job is, right? It's, uh, it's really, really, really hard. Um, but what you have is you have a whole bunch of risk out there on the internet, right? And a lot of people have talked about in the last year, knowing your assets. And that is one portion of a lot of products these days that you, you know, you probably already own or something like that. They do some form of attack surface, um, discovery or management, and they can find all of your websites and domains and stuff like that. And that's useful, but it really only sometimes creates more work for your engineering teams and your security teams, right? It's like adding all this stuff to the vulnerability management pipeline and then, you know, putting it into a rotation for, you know, scanning and then, you know, hardcore pen testing and code review and stuff like that, right? And so uh, a lot of these products also on the market are merging into, you know, standalone platforms and stuff like that. But when I was a CISO, uh, barring all that, I dealt with some pretty, uh, pretty hardcore breaches against some real, real threat actors. And what I found, and then after what I found when I called up all of my CISO friends and, you know, we're all in some of these slacks together and talking about, you know, how did these attackers get initial access in this breach that we just had? And nine out of 10 times, it was because of an exposure of a credential or an API key, like nine out of 10 times. It wasn't some righteous hack or some something super fancy or anything like that. It was a credential that had made its way onto the dark web or you know, for sale in chats that are very shady places. And so uh, you know, we went on the search for, you know, well, do threat intel, you know, are there threat intel platforms that can really give us a deep, deep dive of you know, some of these forums and discords and telegram channels and stuff like that? And there were a few, right? But I hadn't really seen anything as good as Flare. And I don't ever want to BS a friend. So Flare has the most powerful collections database that I have seen ever. And not only are they focused, uh, their primary focus is finding these credentials that end up on the dark web, uh, but they also have started to integrate a lot of that attack surface data too, of finding your websites, finding your acquisitions, finding all this stuff. And so in a world where you have to make a judgment about, um, you know, do you employ your own CTI team? What tools do you guys use? What do you have them do? What's important for you? It starts to get really muddled. And there's been a lot of conversation around like, what do you have your CTI team, team do? Is it even valuable? And I can tell you as a modern CISO, a CTI team is absolutely valuable and building the capability that focuses first on exposure management and attack surface management are the two things you need to do for a solid solid security program. And it leads into other really important programs like secrets management. And I know you all structure your programs completely different, but these are two that I just wouldn't waste um, any time on deciding if you were going to do, you know, if you're coming into a new seat or you're revamping your program, or you just think you're not getting enough out of kind of the CTI world that you're living in right now. Uh, Flare gets really deep and focuses on these credential exposures, which end up being the catalyst for breaches. And you know, funnily enough, in some of the ones that I worked with and friends who I called up, I have been able to retroactively see where their stuff was on sale on the dark web, um, you know, in the Flare data, and you know, where people were talking about their campaigns against organizations like that. So uh, Flare is definitely one of these platforms that is up and coming high tech and for the modern security program. And I really hope that you give us, you know, a look. And uh, if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer them.